Provodnikov, a kindred spirit. He wants to be like a heavyweight Provodnikov. It's interesting that Perez actually outweighs Abdusalamov coming into the ring, or at least weighed 201. However, within the first year after he arrived in Ireland, he weighed 244. So obviously, this is his preference, Roy. And yeah, he may need it tonight. Yeah, this is his preference, and he definitely will need it tonight because these guys are exchanging some bombs. And he has already knocked the heck out of Abdul Samalov a couple times. Perez got right in his kitchen and shook him up. Right away. He's already let him know it's going to be a big fight. And oh, big left hand by Abdul Salamov down the pipe, but now Perez comes back with a couple of shots of his knocked from McLean out in the fourth. A lot of times that's the case with pressure fight. It's been answered. It's yes, he's much more aggressive. Good left hook by Perez, and again he wobbles Abdul Salamov. I don't think that's a product of Abel Sand. And in the first round, Mike. Perez threw 96 punches, landing 33 of them. Abdus Salamov was 19 out of 59. As they trade shots in round number two. What a showdown in the heavyweight division. Eight. Big right hand by Abdus Salamov. Like I said, Abdus Salamov has to do very well school Oh, huge there. left hand that by Abdus Salamov. Fight Perez ending. has got a good beard. Yes, he does. He just missed that. It was a fight-ending left uh, part of his career. But that's what made Mike Tyson so fascinating. He was such a quick guy to be that small power puncher. And that's what people wanted to see, because he was a deadly weapon from round 1-0. Abdul Salamov is making more and more contact. Big right hand by Abdul Salamov. Body shot by Perez. I don't know if Perez wants to trade hooks with Abdul Salamov like that in the middle of the ring. I don't think he wants to trade lefts with Abdul Salamov, especially looking at Abdul Salamov's daddy's hands yesterday. His daddy has a set of bear claws on the end of his wrist. I've never seen bigger hands. I've never seen a pair of hands like that in my life. Great body right shot, by, shot by Perez. Ask for a better left uppercut than this shot right here coming. Right on the chin with a beautiful left uppercut by Mike, I mean by Ab Abdul Salamov. I think I might have said right cheek at one point let's be clear it's the left side of his face that is swelling up like that filling up it feels as though it's badly swollen so he's preoccupied with that as he goes to work here in round seven harold how do you have it so far <laughs> okay jim i'm gonna four rounds to two 58 50 sound oh good and he whoa. lands a right hook and look at this sticks his tongue you. out at him but those were good shots but you, you start to see why they don't want to throw in the towel and out do salama's corner because they know that could happen you get three rounds to go, Marvin. You got you can't find three rounds to go. You got to work by that. How you feel? How you feel? How you feeling? Okay, you feel good. You got to give me you your hands go for me. You want okay? You want to catch him? You got okay. You got your hands go. Get close. Move your hand with your hands go. Come we're gonna catch him. You can't look at the guy. When you get, when you get don't close, look at him. Don't look go. at him. Just try to catch him. Just throw throw the punches. Just try to do something. Okay. Language. He spoke English. He speaks Spanish. He spoke a couple languages in there that really surprised me. He speaks he speaks boxing, that's for sure. You better believe it. After Slumov is showing some hard though. Look at that. Stop Look at that. Ten seconds. Three punch combination from Abdul Salama. Late in the eighth round. Never been past five. Certainly never has been that he still believes he can win. Takes another big shot from Perez as Perez backs him into the corner. Oh, Halfway up, through the ninth round. Extremely painful enterprise. So like I said in the first round, or excuse me, like I said in the opening on camera, despite Abdus Salamov's glittering knockout record, there's a good chance the fight will go the Oh! Balance. Oh my gosh, what a left hand shot. Oh, no. The other side of Benji Perez. Or Benji Estevez, I should say. And Perez has to be careful walking behind after. Oh, oh. Almost 
almost jail. went down. From the jail. Ever been down, almost went down there. From the jail. That could be dangerous for Perez. He better be careful. Punches at he Perez. just opened up a cut over in Perez's right eye. He throws some real punches at Perez still. Like that right there. Now this is next level heart from Abdul Salamov. Punches. Still throwing. Oh, good hook. And good left hand by Abdul Salamov. Tremendous show of courage by Abdul Salamov. Tremendous show of skill by Mike Perez. Tremendous heavyweight. At, at the, in Atlantic City, she had that right. Judge Stewart, a real veteran judge. I love the guy. He's been judging since uh, 1978, uh, as you see. Don Trella, 97-92. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated. And the new champion, Mike the Rebel Perry.